Hey guys, this is Lewis with Let's Go Catch Some Snaps. And right now, I just finished seasoning my fish. As you can see, I put some parsley in there and I put, you know, all seasoning in there, which has all the salt and everything it needs. Really, this fish doesn't need any salt. But anyway, a little bit of salt, a little bit of different spices on there, bam, bam, bam. Turned it around, flipped it over, did the same thing on the other side. And now I'm just going to leave it here to season for a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook it. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So anyway, let me talk to you a little bit while I have my peanut oil here warming up a little bit in my pan. Why do I like to have my fish and fillets? Well, you know, I used to struggle a lot before when I used to do fish soup. And you know, you, when you do a fish soup, you have to scale the fish. You have to boil the fish. Then you have to take the the meat out of the fish and then put them into the soup. You have to put a strainer through a strainer and all that type of stuff. So I said, I need to eliminate all that work because, you know, uh, I'm a type of person that's, you know, I have my own business and I'm on the go. So when I'm cooking, I want to make things very easy for me. So I've learned that if I fillet a fish, all I have, I don't have to deal with the head. I don't have to deal with the scales. I don't have to deal with any bones or anything in the fish other than meat. So I could, for example, just grab right here this meat and have my pot going with, you know, my, to my potatoes, tomatoes, or whatever you would like to put in your, in your, um, in your soup and just grab the meat, right? Kind of pre-cook it a little bit and then just throw it in there. I mean, how easy can that be? So you eliminate, you eliminate all that, uh, you know, kind of stuff. One other thing, guys, what I really like about snapper fish is this. This is what I, that's why I fish these fish. So much. Once uh, you get these fish and you fry them, right, they just taste just like a crack. I mean, you know, it's, it's awesome. You know, and when you're, you're on the run and you're trying to get something done real quick that you could do, you know, like in a sandwich or whatever may have you, because you need to go back to work or you need to go out or you know, you're in a rush to get out of your house. Fairly simple, guys. So look, this is what I did. I just prepared uh, a piece of bread here, put some tomatoes, put some lettuce, put some onions, mayos, you know, whatever you're into. And this is really all it takes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to let my fish cook right there, you know. Once it cooks for a little bit, I'm going to flip it. And then we're just going to put it in a sandwich. Bam, right there you got your meal. So, you know, it doesn't take a lot. Simple, quick, easy ways that you could make your life easier. I mean, you don't have to make, you know, we have enough problems during the day dealing with stressful stuff. And now having to come home and cook for you or your wife or yourself. Um, you know, it, just make it easy. Look how that's coming out. Make it easy. Make it easy for yourself. This, these are nice, good fillets. You know, look at, that. look at that's coming out. All right. So just make your life easier by making things simple. And voila, here it is. All right. See how fast I did that fish sandwich in no time. Guys, and this is fresh, fresh fish. Now, I sometimes go out with my wife to have a fish sandwich during the week, you know, at a fish store. And the fish is not as fresh as this. And I end up paying about $15 and change for a fish sandwich that you don't know if the fish has been in there for a week or a month. So, you know, there's nothing better, guys, that you get your old boat, get a pole, go to a bridge, catch your own fish, 
It's much fresher. It tastes better. And guess what? It's going to cost you less money. Okay. Like and subscribe.